Hey guys, I'm Ken. So we are basically going to continue on with our RPG Maker tutorial uh, covering the action battle system. Uh, this tutorial is going to be pretty short. We're just going to go over setting up graphics and all of, all of the uh, prerequisites before we actually continue an engine and script everything and piece everything together. <coughs> so the first thing you want to do, as I said, is uh, you want to get your graphics either through making your own or if you uh, have a character set that you found online um, you know for your hero uh, because the person who requested this video tutorial wanted a battle system similar to Zelda uh, what I decided to do was use a couple of uh, sprites from a Zelda game so uh, I have talked about this website before it's uh, spritersresource.com what you can do is come into the site and it has a ton of resources a ton of sprite sheets from various uh, consoles uh, under the search bar right here just you know search for whatever you want you can choose to search based on games or just sprite sheets uh, I'm gonna search for Zelda and then I'm going to go to four swords right here and blue link so this is the sprite that I will be using for the rest of this tutorial um, you want to have Photoshop or an image editing software open and just you know copy that image and post it into Photoshop so you can see I already did uh, a lot of these things I already made a lot of these uh, resources this is the copied sprite sheet right here it's pretty extensive and you have um, a ton of uh, animation sequences all uh, created by <laughs> this uh, person named Vaddy here so if you do use these resources please do give credit to the um, you know the person if they have requested credit um, but I will uh, I'll leave that to your discretion. Anyways, uh, these are the Link uh, sprites, blue Link. This is the walking sprite that I use to create my character sets, and this is the sword, let's see what they call it, sword slash sprites that I use to create my uh, battle animations. So, to create your char character sets, you wanna download a template similar to It'll look something like this for RPG Maker 2003. You can find this online uh, pretty much anywhere. And it kind of gives you an idea of the dimensions your characters can be um, and where they fit in. So if you take the sprite sheet, you pretty much have to just copy and paste. So select your marquee tool right here, make sure it's rectangular, highlight over. Um, you know, this is how I did it. So I'm just hitting Control and C on uh, my keyboard for Mac users. It would be Command C, and then I'm just gonna go to a new on the on the top layer here. I'm gonna hit Control and V, and that'll create a new layer. And then you just want to do a select color range, select this light blue uh, color in the background, hit OK, and then delete, and that will um, you know allow this image to be uh, to have that transparent background and you can move these around and rearrange them and position them um, accordingly so something like this because I already did it um, not that one this one right here because I already did it just to show you guys this is what the final would look like um, all the all the sprites fit within each individual block um, and the first bar on the top will be for the uh, sprite facing up as you can see the second bar is for the sprite facing right third is for the sprite facing down and the fourth bar is for the sprite facing left RPG Maker 2003 only allows for three individual frames per uh, face some of the more complex engines and some of the more recent engines uh, I think allow for more. So that's just something to be aware of depending on what engine you're using. And then for the battle animations I created uh, this 
right here. I don't have the original template for the battle animations. I kind of um, placed them, uh, placed each sprite one at a time and kind of positioned them. I uh, went back to RPG Maker 2003 and imported them into the engine, tested them out um, in the database and uh, if they were positioned, um, you know, a little bit to the left or right or up or down, then I came back to Photoshop and I, I uh, you know, moved the sprites pixel by pixel until they were arranged properly. Um, and finally, I have a grass panel, which we're just going to be using for our um, backdrop. So for our map backdrop. Because this method can take time, um, you know, moving each sprite pixel by pixel and trying to get, you know, everything to fit in properly uh, and making everything look smooth because it can take some time, um, I w went ahead and... Where is it? Lotus off my blog. I went ahead and uploaded all three images into my blog. So you can go ahead and download them and when you import them just remember to select the purple background uh, for the character set, the black background for the battle, um, this battle animation here, and for the panorama you don't, you, need, you don't need to select the transparent color but just make sure you do that so they are um, indeed transparent. <clears throat> If you want to create your own graphics, uh, you know, feel free to do that. If you want to use other graphics, then again, the, the spridersresource.com is a very good site. Um, you would pretty much do what I just showed you within Photoshop and create a character set and a battle animation for that character set. And that is, in a nutshell, um, all the prerequisites that you need to complete. Uh, you may have to do the same thing for, say, uh, enemy character sets and enemy battle animations, but now that you know how I set these up, uh, you should be able to do that on your own. So, that's actually going to be it for this video tutorial. And, um, next uh, video tutorial which I'll put up tomorrow. Oh, by the way, I'll, I also rearranged um, some of the layouts for this for my uh, blog and uh, I changed the template as well. I'm kind of playing around with it. Um, I didn't feel the previous look was as professional as uh, this one is already, so I'm going to continue to play around with this a bit more and hopefully, uh, you know, my blog will look even more professional like. But, yeah, so tomorrow I'm going to upload a different video, or another video, it's a, uh, going to be a continuation of this tutorial, and we will be going into the engine and uh, uploading those images. So these images right here, we'll be uploading them and making a uh, simple key input process where, you know, if you press the enter uh, key on your keyboard, then you get a nice smooth animation that plays for the uh, attack so uh, look forward to that and I'll see you guys tomorrow take care